today we shall discuss the power rule to the derivatives now what does this mean we speak about d by dx x power n how will we solve it and what is the power rule let's begin see whenever you are given a function f of x is equal to x power n if this is the question what will be the derivative to this f dash x which means the derivative will be equal to n multiplied by x power n minus 1. So what you do is you just take this power, you get it in the beginning, you write it here, okay, and then you write x as it is, pick up x from here, write it here, x as it is, and now the power will get subtracted by 1. So what will be the new power? It will be n minus 1. So I repeat, if you are given a function f of x is equal to x power n, the derivative to it will be n, the power multiplied by x, power n minus 1. The new power will be n minus 1. Now what I have written is here is, this very function, it can be given to you in this form as well. It can be given in the form of y, which states y is equal to x power n. So here, the derivative is written in the form of dy by dx is equal to n. Just as I told you, the power, it will come in the beginning, n here, x as it is, and the new power will be n minus 1. So basically, even if it is given in this form or is it given in this form, it is identical. I have specifically written it to make the things clear. So this is the power rule, n, x, n minus 1. Now let us see how is it applied to various functions. Let us take an example. The first function given is x power 2. So what will be the derivative? The derivative will be the power which is given in the question this 2 it will come in the beginning here and the new power it is 2 here it will come as 2 minus 1 this will be your new power get it reduced by 1 so x power 2 it will be written as 2 x power 2 minus 1 now what is 2 minus 1 this is actually 1 so this, if you solve this power, this 2 minus 1, this will give you just 1. So, the answer comes now 2 into x power 1, which means 2x. So, the derivative to x power 2 is 2 multiplied by x. Let us take some other examples. If the function states x power 3, so working on the power rule, you will get the derivative will be power in the beginning, 3 in the beginning, will come 3 multiplied by x this power it will come here multiplied by x and the new power will be reduced by 1 so it will be 3 x power 2 another example if the function is x power 4 so the derivative will be 4 will come in the beginning it will be 4 x power 3 now what is the derivative of x c d by dx x can be rewritten as d by dx x power 1 because if there is no power the basically the power is 1 now we apply this power rule to x what we have to do is just get this power in the beginning we write it here then we write x as it is now the new power will get reduced by 1 so it will be 1 minus 1 you get 1 multiplied by x power 1 minus 1 so this this one you can just ignore it you just write it here x and what is the new power the power is 0 now you apply the rule that anything to the power 0 is considered 1 okay so the answer will be 1 this power rule will be applied everywhere in all the functions. So we just saw that d by dx x will be 1. Now, what is the derivative of any constant? See, the derivative of any constant is always 0. Okay, let me explain you how. In this case also, we apply the power rule. 
Let us take the example. If the statement says d by dx 7, 7 is a constant. Now this will give you d by dx 7 multiplied by x power 0 because 7 can be rewritten as 7 into x power 0. Just as I told you in the previous slide, anything to the power 0 is considered 1. So 7 can be written as 7 multiplied by x power 0. Now here again we will be applying the power rule. This 7, it will remain unaffected. It will come in the beginning here. The power to the x, this power will be written in here in the beginning. And x will be copied down as it is. The power of x will be reduced by 1. So you will write 0 minus 1. So what you have now is 7 multiplied by 0 multiplied by x to the power 0 minus 1. So anything multiplied by 0 is 0. So what you get the result is the derivative of 7 is 0. Just as I told you, derivative of any constant is 0. Let us take some other examples. The derivative of 5 will be 0. The derivative of 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 will also be 0. It does not matter how small the constant value is or how bigger it is. The derivative of all the constants will be taken as 0. Similarly, d by dx is such a huge value. This is 2 lakhs. It will be 0. Next. Now, what is the derivative of the rational fraction? Let's see. Here also, we will be applying the power rule. x power n is n. x power n minus 1. Let us take an example. First of all, the derivative of 1 upon x. x is in the denominator. Take it in the numerator, you will get derivative of x power minus 1 because here in the denominator, the power of x is 1. When you will take it in the numerator, it will get minus 1. Now, this is the stage where we will be applying this power rule to this fraction. The power minus 1, it will come in the beginning. This minus 1, just pick it up from here and write it here in the beginning okay now x will be copied as it is the power of x will get reduced by 1 so you will get minus 1 minus 1 so this minus 1 will be copied here and what is the power to the x now x will have the power minus 2 so the answer is minus 1 multiplied by x power minus 2 now, if you want to take this x in the denominator, you will get c. This minus will get repeated here as minus. And when this x will move to the denominator, the power will get positive. So the answer is minus 1 upon x power 2. So the derivative of 1 upon x, the derivative of 1 upon x is minus 1 upon x power 2. Okay, let's take another example. The derivative of 1 upon x square, right? So, in the same terms as we did 1 upon x, we'll be doing 1 upon x square. So, you will write d upon dx, x power minus 2, because this x, when it will go in the numerator, it will get negative power, x power minus 2. So, this will give you minus 2. This power rule will be applied here again. See, this power, it will come in the beginning. We are writing it here, minus 2, multiplied by x. The power of minus 2 will get reduced by 1. So, it will be minus 2 minus 1. So this will give you minus 2 x power minus 3. The answer is minus 2 x power minus 3. Now if you want to take this x in the denominator, the power will get positive. The answer is minus 2 upon x power 3. So the derivative of 1 upon x square is minus 2 upon x power 3. Okay, another example, what is the derivative of 1 upon x power 5? Similarly, if we take this x to the numerator, the power will be turned negative. You will get d upon dx, x power minus 5. Now, again, you apply the power rule here. The power minus 5, it will come in the beginning here, x as it is. What is the new power of x? It will get reduced by minus 1. So it will be written as minus 5 minus 1. So what are you left with? Minus 5 x power minus 6. Now this 
x if you want to take it in the denominator this this x if you take it in the denominator it will be turning positive so the answer will be minus 5 upon x power minus 6 so the derivative of 1 upon x power 5 is equal to minus 5 upon x power 6 okay moving further now if you get a question like what is the derivative of under root of x so please listen carefully d by dx under root of x can be written as what is the power of under root x it is basically 1 upon 2 okay under root of x can be rewritten as x power 1 upon 2 now applying the power rule here as well what we do is this power of x it will come in the beginning so we are writing it here 1 upon 2 this 1 upon 2 has been copied from here and the power comes in the beginning x as it is the new power of x will get reduced by minus 1 so you will get 1 upon 2 minus 1 so what is the answer of 1 upon 2 minus 1 it is minus 1 upon 2 okay so what you get as the answer is 1 upon 2 x power minus 1 upon 2 okay now if you want to take this x in the denominator you will get 1 upon 2 x power 1 upon 2 see what happens is this this power which was negative out here in the numerator it will go as positive in the denominator so you will get 1 upon 2 x power 1 upon 2 now this power of 1 upon 2 can be rewritten as under root of x right so this this 2 is written as here 2 copied the same way and x power 1 upon 2 is written as under root of x so what is the derivative of under root of x you get the answer 1 upon 2 under root of x next what is the derivative of 4x square okay now see carefully this 4 it is multiplied by this function henna this 4 this 4 will remain aloof we will not be taking the derivative of this 4 this will just be multiplied the way it is multiplied by x square it will be multiplied in the answer as well so what we have to do is we just have to calculate the derivative of x square 4 being multiplied by this will be multiplied in the answer as well now please see derivative of x square what you will do is this power of 2 this it will be written in the beginning write it here x copied as it is the power of 2 will get subtracted by 1 so you will get 4 multiplied by 2 x power 2 minus 1 so 2 minus 1 is 1 so the answer is 8 how do you get 8 4 into 2 is 8 so the answer is 8x okay because here x power 1 can be rewritten as x as it is so the answer is 8x similarly one more question is here d by dx minus 7x power 4 see in this example i told you that this 4 it will be copied as it is in the answer and will be multiplied similarly now you have minus 7 this minus 7 will be just rewritten as like this minus 7 in the answer derivative you have to calculate of x power 4 so again applying the power rule this power 4 it will come in the beginning write it here x copied as it is and the power of x will get reduced by 1 so it will be 4 minus 1 see minus 7 minus 7 multiplied by 4 gives you minus 28 and x power 4 minus 1 gives you x power 3 so what is the answer of derivative of minus 7 x power 4 you get minus 28 x power 3 so here we come to the end of the article i hope i have made this power rule very clear to you if you have any doubts you can feel free to ask me in the comment section Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Stay blessed.